guys, Steph here. Now, for you people that watch my videos on a regular basis, would have watched my last pen haul video. And on that video, I actually teased you with this pen here. Okay, we only gave you a little glimpse like this and said, well, do you know what it's it? Well, I didn't say that, but people sort of guessed and said, oh yeah, is it a Cartier fountain pen? Well, it's not a Cartier, but not far wrong. Look at this lovely, handsome pen. What we've got for you here, nice and simple, we've got a Saint Dupont Montparnasse fountain pen. Now this particular model, the Montparnasse, again excuse my pronunciation if I've got it wrong, they came in two models, a standard model and this one being the large model. It's a lovely large fountain pen. When I say large, capped, it's actually 140 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a lovely chunky 13 millimeters in diameter. Now, I know a lot, well, hopefully a lot of you people know that I'm more of a vintage fountain pen man, but when I actually saw this particular pen, I thought, what an interesting pen. It's actually, I quite actually, I quite actually like it. It's a very nice pen, a lovely, it's a heavy pen, which I like. Um, and not only that, it's got some de design features, which I find very interesting. Now, hopefully you can see it comes in this, well, it's a silver engraved Godron pattern and that runs all the way along the barrel and the cap as well it's got gold filled or gold plated features everywhere and then if we take you up to the top there the the clip there you can see okay is a gold plated clip and it's got this black I assume enameled sort of center to the clip there there's a sideways view Always very difficult to show these pens in this sort of glistening silver. And then to the top there, there's the top of the uh, of the cap. You can see the clip to the middle there. And let's show you a different angle so you can see it. Okay. And then the barrel, well there's no barrel imprint. The only imprint we've actually got, if I keep it nice and still for you, there you go. You can see it says Saint or San. How did they pronounce it? I don't know. Saint Dupont Paris. And then it's got this little sort of some sort of a mark if you like, which may be sort of gold plate, I don't know. But very nice indeed. You can see it's got this sort of slight step from the cap down towards the barrel there. Okay, again, I find it a lovely, interesting pen. Now, the other feature it's got, look at this, to the bottom here. It's got this D-ring to, to the bottom, which we'll show you in a moment. Now, let's unscrew the cap for you. Okay, and it unscrews quite, with well, literally just one screw, because it's got this, a lovely, a lovely thread, which we'll show you in a moment. Let's just show you a couple of, Sort of different angles, so you can see the pen, numerous different angles. As I say, I find it quite an interesting pen. Now let's take you up to the, you can see the gold ring to the top of the barrel there. And then you can see it's got this sort of thread, quite a wide thread, just above it there. And then we've got this lovely, quite a large nib to the top which is a Saint Dupont um, I can't remember is it 18 carat I can't quite remember now but if I turn it round look at that it's a sort of if you like a wrap around nib very nice indeed 
as I say, quite a large nib. There's a sideways view for you. And it's got a sort of standard, the standard feed underneath there. But a very, as I say, in my opinion, a lovely, very interesting nib indeed. This sort of fully wrap around, wrap around the, the feed there. Okay, and there's the, there's the thread. You can see quite a thick thread, which makes it, when you're putting a cap on and off, it's just simply a quick, I think it's literally half a turn and it comes on and off. Now let's go back to the bottom here and show you this. Now a lot of you people that, well not a lot maybe, but some of you that may collect sort of vintage lighters, even new lighters, will will notice this D-ring um, on some DuPont cigarette lighters. And what it means is that we just, there we go, lift that little section up like so and as it says there's the d-ring for you okay and the reason for that nice and simple is that we we turn the d-ring a couple of times however many times a little bit more I think there we go and then what happens then is that the whole section and sort of the the nib etc comes out comes out of the barrel and you can see it's fitted with a Saint Dupont or Saint Dupont ink converter there there we go working in lovely condition nice and clean once again let's just show you this section here because as I say I've not seen one of these before and I think it's quite an interesting pen and I think a lovely design as well so what you would actually do now is actually dip the nib in the ink fill the converter there with your favorite ink pop it back into the barrel like so get back to the the d-ring here turn it a few times until it you can feel its hand tight and there it is close the d-ring and there we go it's securely inside the barrel now as you're looking at this some of you will look at it like myself when I first saw it there's no section what's going on here no section well how do you actually how do you actually hold the pen very interesting again you hold the pen on the barrel like so and away you would go writing with the pen and believe it or not although it's actually quite a large a large barrel for me personally with my large hands it's very nice and comfortable to actually hold and it's got a lovely balance to the pen and that's why I find it like I say although I'm a vintage man I find it very comfortable to hold now because as you can see everything is clean inside I don't know I don't even think it may have been used I don't know but what we'll do let's just simply do a dip test so to the side I'm going to dip the the nib in the ink and let's see how the pen writes so what we've got is a a Saint Dupont Mont uh, Par Parnasse fountain pen I'm dating this pen I believe it was from the 19 89 period okay I believe and as we said this is the the large the large version it's writing nicely in a fine fine line so it's got a fine nib 
but writing very nicely indeed and as you can see again I'm holding it just to the to the barrel itself and this this little sort of edge here you know sort of helps to guide your fingers it's slightly fluted as you can see but as I said it's nice and comfortable to hold it's quite surprising not only comfortable but a lovely as I say a lovely balance and weight to the pen so there's a writing sample for you writing with a fine line as we said writing very nicely as you would expect from a quality made fountain pen what we'll do we'll clean the nib after the video but let's put the cap on and as I say to, to put it on we just simply says he <laughs> there we go it goes on lovely and tight and there we have it a very nice and in my opinion interesting obviously a you can see basically by looking at the pen and the nib etc the thread everything the end here the sort of the D ring everything is quality as you would expect from DuPont themselves being a quality luxury manufacturer of items a gorgeous gorgeous pen so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment leave a comment below don't be shy subscribe to the channel as well um, and don't forget just down there give that video give this video should I say give it a thumbs up don't be shy but for now I'm just gonna say Slavo Kriini from me and this lovely quality fountain pen I'm just going to say bye bye for now